Wherever you look, there's corn. It's the most lucrative crop for farmers. That's why there's too much of it being grown. We're at the headquarters of Germany's largest manufacturer of biogas plants near Hamburg. But the founder is nowhere to be seen. He's out looking for alternatives to corn. 15 years ago, on his parents' farm, Christoph Martens built the family's first biogas plants. They're still there, producing electricity. Martens was once praised in the green energy scene. But nowadays, ecologists say corn production for biogas has gotten too big. This is a vacuum container with sludge from organic waste. It's fermenting inside, almost better than corn would. But organic waste sludge has its pitfalls. You can see here there's some bale twine. We want to keep all kinds of twine and mesh out of the picture. Biogas currently accounts for 3% of Germany's electricity. 45-year-old Martens wants to increase that by using technology to improve efficiency. That requires a hands-on approach. If you don't touch it, you can't understand it. You can't study it. You can only do that if you've worked with it yourself. His brothers became farmers like his parents. But raising hogs wasn't really his thing. I don't really have an eye for plants and animals. I'm more the type to walk by the farm equipment and notice something wobbling and think, oh, that nut isn't screwed on tight enough. Martin's inventions are now spread across the market. Germany has nearly 7,000 biogas plants. And the business is so profitable for farmers that they're starting to see land as a way to produce electricity, not to grow food. Martens thinks that idea is exaggerated. He'd rather be talking about technology. Here, for example, everything is airtight, like the inner tubing of the tire on a bicycle. That was his idea. This C profile is actually to secure the piping, to be able to hang it up from the ceiling. That's not at all what it was developed for, but I saw it in the catalog and said, this shape would work. Finding creative, non-conventional uses for things is Martin's hidden talent. Every biogas plant he built was an experiment. He's part of a group of farmers who were driven by the idea of harnessing green energy from plants. Back when we started, it was really important for us that we not patent all our inventions at once because we all found mutual inspiration in each other's work. One had a good idea, another did it better. This is his parents' farm. Before, they used shipping containers for their offices. Ten years ago, biogas plants went through something of a boom. Today, Martens is looking into liquid manure. It could be a replacement for corn, and it's hardly used at all. It's still an underestimated technology. There's a whole range of possibilities, and the market will adjust eventually. Biogas technology is shipped around the world, but Martins just wants to show off his newest project, synthetic natural gas. There's no other company in the world that is producing biogas technology and organic methane technology at the same location. Organic methane means extracting more gas from the fermenting sludge and utilizing the waste heat, producing a 70% energy yield instead of 40. Martins is happy that others take care of marketing, so he can go back to his farm. But in finding an alternative to corn, Martins still has his work cut out for him.